Today on the cast, startling photos of the glaciers of Mount Kilimanjaro. How thin is too thin? We all know that one of Al Gore's most scintillating stars and an inconvenient truth helped him win at the Oscars and the Nobels. Which is where did she get her startling weight loss secrets? Comparing photos from 1912 to today shows the stars revealing descent into anorexia. The size of Mount Kilimanjaro has been measured ever since Europeans first scaled the peak in the 1880s. However, it may have been abnormally large there due to previous decades of overconsuming. Precipitation fell at alarming rates, but ever since then has been a downward trend. Just how do tropical glaciers form? But when a peak rises high enough as so as to penetrate into the upper troposphere, sub-zero air temperatures are found there. Snowfall increases the size of the glacier while melting makes it go away. Diminished snowfall allows solar radiation to chisel away at the slopes of the glacier, making them steeper and steeper each year. The steeper they get, the less the glacier is able to retain the snowfall. In effect, the glacier is being starved of ice. One more, even juicier fact. If the glacier is ever to retain its original beautiful health, it has to be subjected to substantial global warming and increased precipitation because this extra melting will help gentle out the slopes of the glacier, allowing it to grab more snow when the snowfall does fall. Today at the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, air temperatures never go above freezing. If this trend keeps up, we may never be able to save the ice. Please, I beg of you, burn more gas. We're inspired by his fight for 30 years to tell this truth to all of us. Thank you all. We are so inspired. We share this with you.